Hello dear students, welcome you all. Today we are going to discuss on an important question and actually this question was asked by the UPSC in the UPSC mains 2023 paper and actually this question deals with the geography section and by seeing this question we can assure you that UPSC is moving towards the topic that was mainly restricted to the geography optional. Why I am saying this? Because from the past trend, UPSC didn't ask much about the glaciation topic, the glaciation landforms because it was little bit tougher. Okay, but now seeing this question, we can say that UPSC is also taking care of the optional question into the UPSC general paper. So you need to prepare in that way as well. Okay, so today we will be discussing on this question of the geography related to the glacial topic okay so the question is how are fazords formed why do they constitute some of the most picturesque areas of the world however if you are well aware of the concept then definitely you can answer this but if you haven't read any of this term then it may be challenging to answer this okay because these are technical terms specifically related to the glacier maybe in your reference book like the ncrt you may not find but in gc leong there is a mention of it but in a limited way maybe many persons ignore this okay but now upsc is basically focusing on these small small terms and they are framing questions with this angle okay so try to understand try to look these terms if there is mentioning of it in the book okay so there is a little bit suggestion but now we are discussing the question so first of all you need to understand the basics of of a uh, field okay so tell me whether you have uh, seen a river or not well definitely you may have seen a river so if you have seen then the fjord will be looking similar but actually did it seems to be similar no why because the river valley is actually formed by the river itself okay by the erosion okay but when we talk about fjord actually this is also a valley okay they are filled with water but actually they are formed by the glacier okay the erosion done by the glacier that is one important point to understand so maybe you have an idea by comparing the river with this landform i am providing the conclusion the comparison actually so that you should have a picture in your mind otherwise these terms seems to be confusing so that's why i am providing you some of the different angles along with the images you can see the images okay this looks like river but actually they are not river okay you can see here the water is uh, filled here okay so when we talk about fjord or the fjord they are long deep narrow body of water but they are formed due to the erosion by the glaciers okay and when we talk about the difference between the river and the fjord you can understand that the river are basically narrower in depth okay but they have longer channel okay but when we talk about fjord they are basically have the deeper depth okay remember that we are providing you the context only to understand you okay you should not write the comparison of rivers with the fuel okay because that is not the uh, part of the question so you to you have to limit yourself to the fuel how they are formed and actually the conclusion so when we talk about some of the characteristics of the fuel basically they are u-shaped valley remember that glacier when erodes the surface they forms a uniform valley that are u incept why you view incept it is actually because the glaciers are three dimensional okay and when they crosses over the slope 
they actually the withdraw the materials from all the sites and thus forming the u saved valley that is the point and many students find it confusion that how the u saved valley are formed this is simple because of the uniform shape of the glacier from all the sites okay so that is the point and mostly they are found in high latitude where glaciers are existing okay because this is typical feature of the glacier so definitely where there is a glacier okay these features will be common like in the norway in the finland in the canada in the alaska tell me alaska is a part of which country okay now we are talking about its formation because the question demanded it tell me about the formation so various geographers and the geologists linked its formation mainly during the pleistocene ice age remember the pleistocene ice age that occurred before 10000 years when the majority part of the earth was covered by the thick glaciers why thick glaciers because they are basically the interglacial interglacial period concept and i am not here to discuss that because they are not a part of this topic okay they are not a part of this question so pleistocene ice age and in this ice age the earth was mostly covered by the glacier and when we talk about glacier they are very thick very wide and can be up to three kilometer four kilometer okay that means when they move toward the slope they erode the slope the land the landforms in a more deeper way that's why sometimes the valley which are eroded by the glacier may be below the sea level okay that's why for the glacier there is not a grand base level that we see in case of the river okay so that is the point and when the glacier eroded the landform so a deep depression was created and at the end of the ice age what happened the global temperature started rising so when the temperature will rise definitely the water which was in the form of glacier started melting and slowly they drained out and also with the rise in the global temperature there was rise in the sea level because when the glacier melted actually this all water went to the ocean and the rise of the sea level occurred and with the rise in the sea level there was intrusion of the sea water towards this valley okay towards this valley you can say it as a backwater and these backwater filled the valley thus forming the beautiful picture skew which is in the name of fjord okay so that is the point hope you understood the formation concept in a detailed way the features of the glacier how they formed this will help you to retain the concept for the longer time okay if you didn't understand try to repeat the video so now the third demand of the question is first demand was what is fjord the second demand was how it is formed and the third demand was why it is a picturesque area okay why they are attracted uh, by the peoples for the tourist destinations you have to mention that so this is an easy part if you have a knowledge about the climate weather okay some of the idea about tourism then definitely you can answer you can frame the you can frame the answer there is a no need to actually go deep if you have some of the back-end knowledge okay so first of all they are one of the best attractive destination for the adventure tourism okay they are uh, like a natural landscape okay they are full of beauty full of attraction the clean water okay and also some of the resorts are listed in the unesco world heritage site okay can you name some of the uh, unesco world heritage site okay tell me in the comment box now the third is your biodiversity and biodiversity is also very important thing that attracts the people that attracts the tourist okay so there is a rich biodiverse region in the form of flora or the fauna okay and here some of the important thing you can understand that uh, like uh, within the depth of the fjord there is an existence of deep water corals 
and deep water corals are very very colorful okay and uh, although they don't take sunlight as the primary source of for the energy making but they make food via chemosynthesis actually not needed now so these also are very attractive and that makes the region of the field as an picturesque area so when we talk about the conclusion so the field region are economically socially important whether it is for the aquaculture whether it is for the tourism whether it is for the recreational fisheries whether it is for the transportation and the coastal development but remember try to uh, give the geographical answer in respect to the changing things like we can link it with the climate change like the climate change is now rapidly uh, like uh, uh, providing its influence so there is a big threat to these unique ecosystem so that is the end of our answer hope you understood hope you understood the formation hope you understood the basics of the field hope you are able to compare and if you understood definitely try to provide me a comparison between the river and the field okay there are very much distinction a stark distinction okay so friend this is the end of this question we will be meeting next time thank you